Hello everyone, I greet you in the name of God Almighty. My name is Apostle Nathan Silas and today we have a very interesting video to react to. As a matter of fact, in a, sense, a Muslim lady asked um, Bridget Gabriel, of course, concerning addressing ideology with military um, actions does not actually you understand fix the problem and then bridget gabriel of course will be responding to this um very lady but then let me read how the headline says it says that lady give the most brilliant response to most muslim are peaceful and then when you go through this um video of course you are going to disagree with some of the submission made by bridget Gabriel, but then without any further ado, let's get down to this video and then check this out But before then if today happens to be the first time of you taking out my channel Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Facebook and Instagram And if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section And I'm going to check it out. So before we get out to the video I make this video not to discredit anyone's thought or opinion or even belief But this is basically for educational purposes and I believe that at the end of this video we all are going to learn from this so let's get down to this video and hear what the lady asked um bridget before she decided to give this very um response after that of course some of you will have to share your thought and opinion concerning this and may god bless you as you do so so without any further ado let's get down to the video and check this out Assalamualaikum, peace to you all. My name is Saba Ahmed. I'm a law student at American University. I am here to ask you a simple question. I know that we portray Islam and all Muslims as bad, but there's 1.8 billion Muslim followers of Islam. We have 8 million plus Muslim Americans in this country, and I don't see them represented here. But my question is, how can we fight an ideological war with weapons? How can we ever end this war? The jihadist ideology that you talk about, it's an ideology. How can you ever win this thing if you don't address it ideologically? Great question. I am so glad you're here and I am so glad you brought that up because, us, because it gives us an opportunity to answer. What I find so amazing is since the beginning of this panel, which we are here about Benghazi attack against our people, not one person mentioned Muslims, we are here against Islam, or we're launching war against Muslims. We are here to discuss how four Americans died and what our government is doing. We were not here to bash Muslims. You were the one who brought up the issue about most Muslims, not us. And since you brought it up, allow me to elaborate with my answer. There are 1.2 billion Muslims in the world today. Of course not all of them are radicals. The majority of them are peaceful people. The radicals are estimated to be between 15 to 25 percent according to all intelligence services around the world. That leaves 75 percent of them peaceful people. But when you look at 15 to 25 percent of the world Muslim population, you're looking at 180 million to 300 million people dedicated to the destruction of Western civilization. That is as big of the United States. So why should we worry about the radicals 15 to 25 percent? Because it is the radicals that kill. Because it is the radicals that behead and massacre. When you look throughout history, when you look at all the lessons of history, most Germans were peaceful. Yet the Nazis drove the agenda. And as a result, 60 million people died. Almost uh, 14 million in concentration camps. 6 million were Jews. The peaceful majority were irrelevant. When you look at Russia, most Russians were peaceful as well. Yet the Russians were able to kill 20 million people. The peaceful majority were irrelevant. When you look at China, for example, most Chinese were peaceful as well. Yet the Chinese were able to kill 70 million people. The peaceful majority were irrelevant. When you look at Japan prior to World War II, most Japanese were peaceful as well. Yet Japan was able to butcher its way across Southeast Asia, killing 12 million people, mostly killed with bayonets and shovels. The peaceful majority were irrelevant. On September 11th in the United States, we had 2.3 million Arab Muslims living in the United States. 
It took 19 hijackers, 19 radicals to bring America down to its knees, destroy the World Trade Center, attack the Pentagon, and, and kill almost 3,000 Americans that day. The peaceful majority were irrelevant. So for all our powers of reasons and us talking about moderate and peaceful Muslims, I'm glad you're here. But where are the others speaking out? And since you are the only Muslim representative, Muslim representative in here, you took the limelight instead of speaking about why our government, and I assume are you an American? You're an American citizen. So as an American citizen, you sat in this room and instead of standing up and saying a question or asking something about our four Americans that died and what our government is doing to correct the problem, you stood there to make a point about peaceful, moderate Muslims. I wish you brought 10 with you to question about what, how we can hold our government responsible. It is time we take political correctness and throw it in the garbage where it belongs and stop calling it fair. And there will be refreshments afterward. <laughs> uh, did you want to respond to the? Uh, I think right. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> right. Um, you had a follow up that you'd. Uh, 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 you go ahead. Go ahead. Comment. Thank you for your responses, and I do really hope that other Muslims will start showing up at these conservative forums. But you know, as a um, peaceful um, uh, American Muslim, I would like to think that I'm not that irrelevant. I would, I'm just as uh, much an American and I'm very deeply saddened about the lives that were lost in Libya. And I hope that we will find justice for their families. And, but I, I don't think that this war can ever be won by just the military. You have to address them, you have to bring Muslims to the table I to think, address this. I think so everyone agrees you. that it can't be Everybody won just militarily. And I, I think that everyone has said that. Can you so. tell me who the head of the uh, Muslim peace movement is? I guess it's me right now, so yeah. thank you. <laughs> wow, that's a very interesting um, video. But I could say that Bridget was just speaking with so much um, emotions in addressing the question that this very young lady was asking concerning Muslim being um, peaceful. If you look at it, you realize that the truth about it is the lady was not wrong because you can't be able to address ideology with a military action. Of course, you can be able to do so. You can keep it at peace to some time. Then after that, in a sense, the ideology will always be there. But then it will be better for you to be able to address the ideology with an ideology. And then from there, it can be able to fix, you understand, the problem. Now, Bridget is saying that because of we have um, 15 to 25 percent of radicalized, maybe probably terrorists, in a sense, Muslims. So because of that, then we should unlatch in a sense, mayhem on innocent in a sense, Muslim who are innocent. To her, she just feels like since we could have, you understand, between 15 and 25 percent, in a sense, of Muslims who are radicalized or who are jihadists, then therefore the 75 percent of the Muslims are irrelevant. So therefore, it she is indirectly telling us that since because, you understand, they are irrelevant, then it means that they should attack them. It does not even make sense, in a sense, logically from what, in a sense, Bridget, in a sense, is saying. Because when you look at this, why should somebody get punished because of what another person you understand, do on behalf of you understand, a religion? Did I send the person? Did I tell the person to go and do it you understand, on behalf of the religion? No, I did not tell the person. So why am I not relevant? Imagine that somebody now come and do something in place of Christianity, or he went on to kill some people and said, I'm killing them in the name of Jesus. So does it mean that people should just start killing any Christian that is around? 
if you should look at it that way, then this is exactly what Bridget is saying. I am not saying that it was actually a good thing that the American people, you understand, got killed. Of course, you understand, we condemn that and then therefore justice should prevail. But it does not mean that because of, you understand, some people do that, then therefore we should go on another religion, on the religion itself. What if those people are just misinterpreting, you understand, things and doing it not on the behalf of the religion, but then they are doing this politically and then they are use, do use, doing it in a sense behind the religion and make it look like yes it's the religion because we have always known the religion to be a religion of violence or we have known the religion to be a religion of terror you see so does it mean that me being a christian because i am here and i went on to do anything bad right that it means that people should go and kill um, bridget because she is a christian does that even make sense why not you understand you follow the culprit what the person is doing is wrong. So follow the person, in a sense, instead of you going, in a sense, ahead talking about, in a sense, China, and then Russia, and then Japan, and then some of you, know, some of the few things, in a sense, that people, and some things that people, in a sense, have done in the time past, then we'll use that to justify the innocent ones. It does not even make sense. And that is the reason why you see some of this international, in a sense, policy that has been making. That's why you see it makes, in a sense, some countries to use such a money to go and what? To commit genocide, in a sense, in other countries. It's because of we do not take made some of these things. And the truth about it is, you cannot be able to, uh, to fight ideology with military action. It's never, you understand, a solution. It has been tested even in time past and even in the presence, but it's never, you understand, a solution. It's about you, you understand, to use the same ideology and speak to the people. And then from there, they will realize that whatever they are doing, either it is wrong or right. And then from there, they are going to change. But using military action does not necessarily, in a sense, fix the problem. Problem. Of course, I understand that there is always, in a sense, a political, in a sense, solution, which is what, in a sense, they always, in a sense, use. But then, at the end of the day, it does not really, in a sense, fix the problem, and that is why we do not rule out, in a sense, diplomacy. Of course, in this kind of situation, we do not rule that out. But then, I feels like what the lady was saying is actually true. We should rather use ideology to fix, in a sense, the problem, and not necessarily about using military action. But maybe probably because of the lady was. Was just there by herself but then when you critically look at what the lady is saying you, you understand that it was actually a very important question she was asking but then i know that they just laugh over it and of course i am not saying that i support the killing of american citizens it is actually condemnable it's something that in a sense should not be tolerated but then let's not in a sense generalize it on innocent people because we have a lot of innocent people who do not want things like that to happen and we don't have to say that because of those people are Muslim or because those people are Jews or because those people are Christians so because of some Christian or some Jews or some Muslim have do some things that it means that they deserve you understand to die or they deserve to be killed I feel like that one you understand is wrong you understand to look at it in that very aspect but then I know that some of you have thought an opinion in a sense concerning this but as for me I just totally disagree with what in a sense Bridget say which happens to be my personal um, opinion just like how some of you also have your own thought and opinion concerning this very um, video so this is the end of my video if you like my reaction you should like share and subscribe and if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out so guys you remain blessed and i see you in my next video bye bye